This is our Total Eclipse beer called Stare at the Sun. Clever name, right? Because it's only during totality of a total solar eclipse that you can safely stare at the sun. Otherwise, you need eclipse glasses to protect your eyes. Now, I've heard rumors that Eric is in the back beginning the process to brew this. What are you stirring in? Well, on this side, we have all of our grain. Uh, we have our base malt, it's a Pilsen, um, light malt, very, very delicious, grainy. Uh, we have some roasted dark malts, we have some oats, some wheat, really to add some sweetness and mouthfeel to this. All that's gonna get mixed together um, to extract sugar or wort, uh, and that's what we use to make the beer out of. So you put it all in here, you stir it up, and then what's our next step? How do we transform this along the line? Yeah, so we'll actually filter uh, the wort on itself um, and use the grain as a filtration unit to get out all of the particulate and protein, and then we'll transfer the sugar over to our boil kettle. How do we get it from there into a, we're getting closer to the bottle or the can, right? Yeah, yeah, uh -huh. for sure. So there's actually a heat exchanger hidden under this, which is interlocking panels, kind of like a radiator. So cold water is gonna go through every other panel and then the hot wort or what's gonna become beer goes through the opposite panels. So the cold water is gonna pull out all of the heat from the hot liquid. And then when the liquid comes out, we're gonna transfer it into our fermentation vessels. And that's where it'll come out at around 68 degrees Fahrenheit. So you're using the temperature to control the yeast activity. Yes, 100%, yep. Cool. And then that'll, that'll put it uh, to sleep and try to drop it out of suspension a little bit. And it'll all collect it down at the bottom of the cone here. Okay, so I've just noticed something interesting. Okay, yeah. Look, it looks pretty cool. It's what in the world is a fizz whiz? It is a carbonation robot. Based off of the temperature, it knows how much CO2 to put in the tank itself. So we have perfectly carbonated beer every single time.